Hey everyone, it's Megan with The Crafty Planner Lover here and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. In today's video, we are going to be planning a My Hobonichi Cousin Health and Wellness Planner for the week of April 14th through the 21st using this adorable Bunnies at Tea collection from Growing Modestly for our YouTube collab loop group video. Like I said, if you are new here, then hello, welcome. If you're returning from a different channel, then I'm so excited you decided to continue the loop. I hope you'll stick around for more videos from me. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing and checking out the rest of my content that I share. It will be in the description box below. Now, like I mentioned, this is part of the YouTube collab loop group and our theme is spring animals. And Lisa Marie, who is the host and creator and mastermind behind behind our loops is uh, when she mentioned that it was spring animals, I knew I was going to need to use the Bunnies at Tea collection from Growing Up Modestly. This collection is so cute, so adorable, and I absolutely love it. I cannot wait to share with you guys this beautiful collection, and I'm just, ah, I'm so excited. Like I said, if you came from the previous creator, then welcome. I hope you are enjoying our Bunnies at Tea theme. And if you've never heard of our YouTube collab loop, an explanation for those of you who are unfamiliar with our YouTube collab loop, I'm sure you've heard it multiple times in the previous creator's videos, but basically you will watch the video that you clicked on, whoever's video it is. If it's mine, then yay, um, then that would be your first video. But whoever's video you started with, you will watch the video through its entirety. And at the end of the video, there will be a link in there description box to the next creator and then you will click on that link watch the video and continue all those steps until you get back to the video that you started with so if you started with me then you will end with me all right but enough with that let's explain our bunnies at tea collection so we have lots of different things here we have double-sided scrapbook paper with this adorable little bunnies at tea theme oh my gosh I'm obsessed it's so cute so um, I'm going to be using these obviously and then we have some washi strips here with different kinds of themes and colors then we have the journaling card it says take the time to relax and then we obviously have our deco, which is just so cute. <laughs> I'm obsessed. Oh my gosh. And then we have the functional boxes. Um, so we have uh, big boxes and small boxes. So you'll see me use these uh, a little bit later in the video. But that's not all, everybody, because we also have scripts. So this is my Growing Modestly book. So we have our dates and our number or a uh, date covers and day headers and then lots of functional items in here so we're going to be pulling those out of the out of the sticker book and yeah we're just going to go ahead and jump into this week i really hope you guys are enjoying our spring animals theme i also know that me and emily were talking um emily is the owner of growing up modestly because I was telling her how excited I was to do this theme because as soon as Lisa Marie announced it, I was like, I have to do the Buddies at Tea collection. And she was like, oh my gosh, I'm using this collection too. So I hope you enjoy Emily's version of using the Bunnies at Tea collection. And I know that there are a couple of other affiliates because I am on a Growing Lattice's affiliate team. Uh, Lisa Marie and a couple of others are that are in this loop are also part of her collection. So I'm interested to see if they're actually going to use this collection as well. But we'll find out. So anyway, enough with the chit-chatting. Let's start planning in our... Hobonichi cousin for this week. All right, so we are going to begin with the 14th. Um, actually, what we're going to do first is we are going to rip um, the double-sided page. And y'all might be like, oh my gosh, what are you doing? I have a reason. Because this is double-sided, I want to maximize the amount of scrapbook paper I can use in this spread. So I'm going to separate each of the scrapbook papers. So the first one I'm going to do is this one here. Um, and you'll see the other one I'll divide later. But I want to kind of use that as a decorative element in the spread so that you can basically so that I can use it to cover up all of the writing in the page. So I'm just going to glue and adhesive tape all of the 
little pieces here and I'm going to begin actually by only adding the scrapbook papers, the washi, and the boxes. And then later on, I will go back in and add all of the deco elements that are in that deco page. I really loved the saying that says, have a cup of positivity, because that was really cute. So I decided to put that on Monday, um, because again, I thought it was the perfect beginning to the week. So let me talk about the daily pages real quick. Um, these are, like I had mentioned in some of my other videos, these are what I use to track my food and my daily thoughts for the, like for each day. Um, so I have to, because of the different health things that I have going on, I have to track my food. Um, I have a calorie limit and a protein um, limit for each day and I have to make sure that I am on that because I have a lot of health problems and if I don't stick to it then it becomes a really big issue. Um, I end up not feeling very good especially now that my gallbladder is out. I have to be very careful about my fat intake too. So that is why I'm using it these daily pages. They are extremely helpful for me and it gives me a lot of room to write everything down. And like I said, I write my daily thoughts in here too. So I will just journal what I've been thinking of throughout the day and um, just anything health related. If like my shoulders in pain, which if you saw my art take planner um, a couple days ago, I talked about how I'm having to have a lot of so shoulder I'm having a lot of shoulder issues more than I've been having for the past two years. So that's something that I really have to focus on seeing how bad my pain is, seeing the pain level that I'm at, and just tracking any kind of movement that I will have that could trigger the specific, you know, pain that I'm having. I'm going to basically do the same thing, just glue and tape all of the little scrapbook pages on, and then you'll see in Wednesday I decided to um, use this like burgundy colored washi um, all along the edge because it looks like it's one of those washies that goes uh, vertically and not horizontally on the page. So you'll see that I do that a couple of other times too. So while I'm laying everything down, guys, let's talk about our theme, spring animals. What is your favorite spring animal? Do you have a favorite spring animal? I particularly like little bunnies, which is why I chose this collection. Um, I think they are adorable and so freaking cute and just so fun. Um, I also really like deer. Um, and in Florida, especially where I live, oh my gosh, the deer are everywhere. So I am a huge fan of the deer and all of the spring animals. I think they're just so cute. And this theme is amazing. I am so happy that I was able to do my spread, uh, my daily pages and my spread for this theme. And just so you know, these themes are not like you have to do them. We totally have the option to back out if we feel like a theme is just not working for us or, you know, we want to give somebody else the opportunity to do the theme. We totally can do that. So don't think that we're like forcing ourselves to do this. We're totally not. I love these. It's so challenging and so fun to find a new way to plan in your spreads, especially because I kind of feel like I'm a seasonal planner. So doing, you know, a mushroom theme, for example, would be something that is not necessarily seasonal for me but it's something that I can incorporate into my planner in a different and unique way. And I love challenging myself with those themes. All right, y'all. So um, as you can see, I got so carried away that I went past the 21st. <laughs> um, I was so excited to use this kit that as I was going through, I was like, oh, keep going, keep going, keep going. And then when I put the stickers down for, you know, the next day, I realized, oh no, I went past the 21st. So then I thought, okay, well, you know what? We're just gonna go ahead and use the rest of this uh, this collection. We're gonna do the entire rest of the month because it's cute, it's fun. I am having a lot of fun using all of the elements. So I was like, let's just keep going because it's my page, it's my planner, I can do what I want. And, um, you know, I just, I thought it would be fun. And <laughs> funny now, there's not going to be a Hobonichi Cousin video for next week because I'm already doing it, so oopsie! As you see, on Monday, I decided to very crookedly lay down that purple washi strip um, vertically down on the 
edge of the Monday section just because again that washi looks like it goes vertically rather than horizontally. I decided to use all of the bigger boxes um, in the second part of the week, um, you know, the next week, um, because I thought, well, you know, I, I need to use the rest of this collection and I can use this box for my um, journaling or my food, whatever I choose to do with that box, I can do that. And I decided to stop on Monday the 29th because when you turn the page, the 30th is right next to the May section. And I don't know what I'm doing with my May calendar yet. So I decided to just wait. Um, and I might add the journaling card just to that page, just plop it on there and have that be my decoration. Um, if I want to continue the uh, bunny theme throughout the rest of the month. So now I'm just going to go back through and take that deco page and just add one piece of deco to each spread or to, to each daily page. Um, and then after I do that, I will go back through and take those little spoons and forks and add them sporadically throughout. Um, just, just because they're fun and I like it. <laughs> everyone that is it for this week well the next two weeks of my Hobonichi Cousin Health and Wellness pages using the Bunnies at Tea collection from Growing Modestly. I really really love these pages they are so fun and so just beautiful. I'm gonna have so much fun using these and just they're just gonna be so much fun to smile. It's gonna be a great thing for me to have especially you know going through this next few days just seeing how I am as far as like my health and health goes with my shoulder and everything so this is going to be a little bright and happy thing for me to see throughout the next two weeks and I love that I was able to use so much of those pages I still have an entire sheet let me get it. So I still have this entire other side of the scrapbook paper and about, I would say about half of the other. So I still have stuff left over. I could still do more with it, but for now, that's what we're going to, we're going to just stick with what we've got because I got carried away and I continued going through each. <laughs> it was just, I was so excited. I just kept going. Um, so I really hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope it was inspirational to you. Maybe you've never used scrap of paper before in your planning or in your daily pages and you've been wanting to and now you know how. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed my take on the spring animals theme and that you will go and support all of the amazing creators and planners in this loop. We have so much fun doing these themes. Once again, a huge shout out to Lisa Marie for doing this, for putting this theme together. I really appreciate all of the hard work that she does. I have so much fun with these. As I mentioned earlier, these themes just challenge me in a different way. And it's so fun to see everybody's different ideas on what a theme could be. And I just have so much fun watching them. I spend probably a couple of days watching all of the YouTube loop videos. And I just, I think they're so fun. And I love supporting all of the amazing and talented creators. If you guys like this video and you want to see more from me, please don't forget to hit that thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, or if you like this video, and hit the notification bell so you are notified when I post new videos. Just so you know, next week we are going to have another YouTube loop, and I am participating in that loop, and the theme is April showers. I am very excited about that one. You guys are going to love the take on the theme that I'm going to be doing and I, I'm excited. So I hope you guys like this video. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed the video and until next time, craft on. Bye guys.